Hey guys, Rana back again with another exciting video and in this video guys, I'm going to show you how you can back up and restore your WordPress website with simplest and fastest way. Moreover, I'll show you guys how you can transfer or migrate your website from one place to another place. It could be localhost to live server or live server to localhost or live server to another live server. By watching this video, you can secure your website forever. You will never lose your website data ever. So without wasting more time, let me show you how you can back up and restore your website. And there are a few other features that we'll be covering in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, you can see this is my local website. I've created this website for tutorial purposes, guys. So here we have to install a plugin to back up or restore our website. Let's have you mouse over plugins and then click on add new and search for WP Vivid. This one right here click on install now and then you have to activate the plugin once you activate this plugin you will see the interface like this so you will see there are a bunch of tabs over here backup and restore schedule auto migration remote storage so on and so forth first of all i will provide you this plugins settings file that you can find in the video description go ahead download that file and come to the settings scroll down at the very bottom and here you have to upload that settings file and click on import button and your plugin settings will exactly like mine and you don't have to do anything I've already created the settings file for you guys okay let's go to backup and restore tab and right here you can see there are a bunch of options that you can choose from first of all you can see we have the database plus files and WordPress files only and database only and location where you like to save you like to save it on your local computer or you like to save it on remote storage and you will see the backup now button okay and below you can see we have the backups and upload tab in the backup tab you will see all the backups that you have for your website in the upload tab here you can drag and drop your backup file if you already have a backup file and now let's say I want to backup the entire website this is the simplest way First of all, I will select the database plus file. This will back up the entire website, including all the files. Next, where you like to save it, I like to save this backup on my local computer. Or another option we have here, uh, backup your website file into remote storage. What is remote storage? Let's go to remote storage tab. Here you can see Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft, OneDrive, and so on and so forth. These are remote storage guys. You have to connect your remote storage if you want to send your backup into that remote storage. Okay. Later in this video, I'll show you how to connect your remote storage with your website. Right now, I'm going to select local drive. Click on backup now. There is a one more option right here. This one, this backup can be deleted manually. If you check this option, your backup will delete it manually otherwise it will be deleted automatically it's all up to you personal preferences guys now you can see backup has been generated right now within seconds so that's why i'm telling you guys this is the fastest and simplest way to backup your website so here simply you can click on download button to download your backup file click on download it will open another tab download tab and here simply click on download button and click on start download and save it wherever you like so i'm going to close this out so this is my one backup file and now let's take a look at the another feature if you go to schedule you can schedule your backup by enabling this option and these are the pro features if you have a pro version of this plugin you can enable these features as well i highly recommend you to check out the pro version link in the video description and if you scroll down you can see you can schedule 12 hour, daily, weekly, fortnight, monthly, it's all up to you guys. I recommend you to back up your site daily. Okay, below, what would you like to back up? Entire website, website files, or only database? I'll go with database plus WordPress files. And below, you should select the remote storage. So guys, this is very important. If you click over here, you can see this message right here, remote storage is not connected with your website. Let's connect it. Click on remote storage. I'll go with Google Drive. Let's click on authenticate with Google Drive. Now it will open your Google account. 
I'm going to connect my this account with my WP Vivid plugin. It says it's already connected. Anyways, click on send anyway because this is my local website. I'm going to type my password once again, click on login. Now we need to type the name. Let's type something like other host demo site, something like that. Okay. And then click on add. So you can see the remote storage has been connected successfully. Let's go back to schedule, scroll down. Now you can select this option and don't forget to click on save changes whenever you make any changes. So this way you don't have to worry about your website data. It will automatically back up your site and it will send your site back up on your remote storage. So this is how you can scale your website forever. It's time to show you guys how to migrate your website from one host to another host. In this example, I will open another local website to show you how you can do that. So I'm going to quickly log in into my another local site. All right. So this is my another local site. Before I transfer this website, let me show you the front end. So you can see this is the front end. First of all, I'm going to install a theme. Just click on add new. I'm going to install the extra theme. Let me quickly install and set up this website for you guys. All right, guys. So you can see I've successfully set up the site. So this is my original site. You can see I want to take this website and transfer it on this other host site. If I show you the front end of this site, other host, you can see there is a nothing here. This is a default template. Okay. I want to transfer my original site into this other host site. Okay. So how are we going to do it? Well, first of all, you have to come to your other site and here you have to install the same plugin WP Vivid and then come over to the key section or key tab, generate the key. It will give you some text. Now all you have to do just copy the text. Let's come to your original site and you have to install the same WP Vivid plugin. Let's Go to plugins, click on add new and search for WP Vivid and install this one and activate this. Once you activate the plugin, let's go to auto migration tab and paste your that you have generated from other host website. And now take that key and paste it over here and click save. Now it will connect your this website with your another website. Now all you have to do, you have to choose what type of content you want to transfer. You want to transfer the entire website, which is database and WordPress files or WordPress files only or database only. I like to transfer the entire site. All I need to do is just click on this button right here, clone, then transfer. It will transfer the entire website from one host to another host. So this process may take some time. It depends on your internet connection or your web server. So I'm going to speed the video up and I'll come back once it's done. Right now, my internet connection is so terrible. Let's see how much time it takes. So I'll see you once it's done. All right. So transfer has been completed successfully. 100% completed as you can see right here. So this is the total size of the website and this is the upload size. And this is, you can see the speed. My internet connection speed is so terrible right now. I don't know why. And one more thing, guys, my cam was shut down somehow. I didn't notice that. Anyways, let's come back to this video and you can see the transfer has been completed. Now let's go to your other host site and let's go to backup and restore and let's scan the backup file. So you can see the file right here. We received this file and now all you have to do, just click on this restore button and restore your site. Click on restore. First of all, let me go back once again. Let me check this option and click on restore. Click OK. It will restore this website from this backup. OK, so let's see how much time it takes. 18% completed. It is extracting the file and importing into the new server or new host. All right, guys, so you can see that 100% completed. It says the restore completed successfully. Click OK. Now it will refresh your website automatically and it will take you to the login page. Let's see. So this is the login page. Now you can't log in with the previous username and password. You must type this 
website original site username password in order to log in into the other host website okay so let's type the password and username and click on login all right guys so as you can see that we have successfully migrated our site from one host to another host all right guys so this is how you can back up and restore your website or transfer your website from one host to another host if you find this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one thank you so much for watching this video Till then, I'll see you next time.